Hey guys, I thought I'd uh, make a video today. With, uh, I'm with my friend Johnny Berber and... Um, How are you guys doing? Yeah, uh, we're just in Brighton at the moment and um, yeah, this is a new place for Johnny. As you know, we're usually in London because that is the best place to, you know, go out and, you know, interact with women. But in today's video, we're not talking about that. We're talking about how you should be facing your fears in every area of your life, how to start your own business and actually how to start your own YouTube channel, how to build up your own personal brand and um, on a daily basis moving towards your dream lifestyle. That could be getting on the phone, building up a YouTube channel, building an email list, learning how to market yourself, learning about Facebook ads, etc. And um, yeah, because you need to have a life outside of women. What do you think about facing your fears on that? I think it's a great idea and I was really excited to come onto your channel and, and talk about this because I think most guys uh, don't enjoy their job. This goes hand in hand with the guys you're helping on your channel who don't really have the confidence to go out and meet me on the street. So in my experience of building a personal brand, a YouTube channel, getting on the phone, learning how to get clients, learning how to make money, learning how to sell, learning how to add value, actually learning the basics of building a business and understanding business and understanding how to serve people. I think Benny, from seeing what I've done and seeing what you've done and being in a business world and coaching people, the only really way you can get good at these things is by doing it. And I know that yeah. sounds really obvious. It's the same as going out approaching uh, women. I think for a lot of men, where they get stuck is they sit down at home, they see other people successful building business and brands and getting followings and adding value to people, but they think, oh, I can't do that because I don't have a strategy, I don't have steps. But in reality, anyone can do it. Anyone can start a YouTube channel. Anyone can get on the phone and start talking to prospect, to prospect clients. It's just people go, oh, fear comes up. So I'm really inspired to say to guys, how can we come to know that feeling in any area of our life and, and work in that feeling and grow confidence and, and start a business? Because you're not going to start a business if you don't face fear and anxiety. You're not going to make money. You're just not going to do it. It's always going to be something that you're going to have to face. So the quicker you do it and don't think about it, the more confidence you'll build of making YouTube videos, building a brand, adding value, getting your creative ideas out, which is what Benny's doing. He's doing the infill videos. You're building, that's really a great way to build a brand. You're adding value. You're showing up. You're putting these videos out. You're showing your skills. You're educating men. You're inspiring men. So they're going to go, well, we trust this guy because look how much value he's giving. Look at the results he's getting. Look yeah. at the results they're getting. So understanding these basic principles in business can only be really understood by doing it. And too many men read books. I'm, I'm just bored of it. I don't want to talk to people that just want to read books. With my clients, I get them to take action in their life. So that's like the best thing I could add. I could add a lot more, but they're the basics. If you do that, you're going to be amazing. Exactly. Johnny's right. And I feel like doing, uh, well, some people call it day game or meeting women was just a catalyst to improving myself because women actually, when you start going out facing your fears, approaching women, you realize you want to face other fears in other areas of your life. So if you hate your job right now and you don't, you don't you look at your life and you don't love it you know you've got to think um, you know what is my passion what could I wake out of bed in the morning and just what would I love to do instead of going to work for someone else and do a job you hate focus on what you love and then you can actually start to build a personal brand around that um, and yeah Johnny's right you don't need to be there is a tiny bit of strategy but you don't need to focus on the strategy you just need to too much just focus on following your heart your purpose and the things will just move in the right direction naturally. Um, so yeah, women are the catalyst for you to work on yourself, improve yourself. You might want to start hitting the gym more because you're afraid of, you feel intimidated to go in the gym mm. or you feel intimidated because you care what people think online so you're afraid to make a YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, you're not going to get anywhere in life if you care what people think. Just not, don't, it's not about not caring, it's just about caring less yeah I think there's some great key things you said and what I've understood in what you said is it's a certain mindset that you get in and you are right of course there's there is a strategy in business there's lots of strategies but the strategy isn't as important to begin with as you starting and doing it if you sit at home and go well I'm not going to get on the phone and make calls to prospect clients and, and sell my coaching and make money and add value to people mm -hmm. until I get a strategy they'll never do it if exactly. I sat at home and, and you sat at home and went, well, we're not going to go out and approach you on the street until we get the exact right strategy, you're the never fear, going to do yeah. it. The fear's going to be you. So the strategy's in facing the fear. And then, of course, there's an actual strategy. We can talk about some of the strategies. I was thinking earlier on about 
just some, a really good tip to build a business is you need a mailing list. Exactly. And, and you need um, to offer a free ebook or a free video course. You need to give, like this is the give key word. Yeah, yeah, it's what like David D'Angelo done, one of his sort of, uh, the basis building a business. It's like, okay, I'm gonna give you 10,000 pounds worth of value for free and I just want your email address. So I'm gonna give you an amazing video course or we're gonna do it like, this video is full of value, this video. Yeah. This is 15 years experience. You've got loads of putting together. We've been successful in all the areas. So get a mailing list, uh, get people on your list, add value, and then they'll buy your products and services. This is how I've sold thousands of pounds worth of coaching and on my mailing list. You know? Johnny's really true. I would agree with the point he made about you need to give before you ask because a lot of guys, the reason why they don't succeed in business and with women is because they are thinking of taking before they give. So you need to offer value the same way in an interaction. You need to give a compliment and expect nothing in return. Yeah. Same thing, put out content because you love it and uh, yeah, you'll get abundance coming back to you. Yeah. So um, That's one of the keys in business that a lot of people think when they start because you think small, you think I need to make money, I need to be liked by people but that's like, it's like, it's not that that's not important but you need to change the mindset and go how can I add value to people first I really want to help people I want to be really genuine and you can only really help people and be genuine if you have the truth in what you're offering so the truth of what I'm offering is um, teaching men and educating them demonstrating how to go out and meet and attract women and then the better truth is I can help people in any area of their life to build confidence and face fear because I've done it for 15 years got results mentored thousands of guys got them results so the truth of what you're sharing with people, that's the value. That's your hard work. That hard work mm. you've done has, get, has come to some truth. So it's understanding these things, what Benny's talking about, like the mindset, the actions. And when we talk about it, it may sound like that's so many things to do, but it's not. As you do, as you take action, you learn these things naturally and automatically as you go along. And then you can break them down after. So I think let's not get too caught up in the technicalities and the strategies. Let's actually focus on getting started first on a business and a brand, adding value to people. And then we can start you know, doing what you did with your coaching business, what I did. We can educate ourselves, get mentors and learn you know, what you did uh, with Tom, like Facebook advertisement, growing the mailing list, you know, seminars. I learn all these things later, but all of it's common sense. But if you can't walk through the door of fear, and stand up yeah. in front of judgment and getting to that feeling and overcome rejection on the phone and get sales, then you're not gonna build a brand, unfortunately, because you're just gonna be where you're at, where you're at, and where you're at is insecurity and fear, yeah. and it's a lack of action, lack of experience. Experience builds confidence. Building a brand is, um, you know, you have, to have, you have to create a lot of experiences by making videos, educating people, and you have to be true to what you do because if you're not true to what you do, then people are going to sense that you're not honest. They're not going to take you seriously. You may get a little bit of results. So building a successful, long-lasting business is always being true to what you do and being true to people that you're educating, helping, and you're selling your products and services to. It's, I agree with Johnny, and I also want to add that you need to, be, you need to have a unique skill set because the reason why definitely, most people definitely. don't get paid the kind of money they want and it's, because you're not it's simply because you're not delivering enough value if you deliver more value to the world, if you help more people, you'll get paid more. Money is just an exchange of value. So people who sit at home and complain and whine about they don't have the dream life, they want the business life, it's because you're not delivering enough value. You're not putting yourself out there. Of course, if you don't put yourself out there and you don't even have a unique skill set, no one's going to pay you for it. If you just do a job that anyone is, if you basically have a skill set, no, just a job which a robot could replace a machine, then you're not going to be paid well for it. Whereas Johnny had to put the time in to develop a unique skill set that not many guys have and they all want that. So that's why they come to him because he has truth and he has a, he has a high income skill. He has a skill that can make him more than £10,000 a month because he's, got, he's worked for so many years on it. And not any guy can just, isn't it, it's something that's very rare, so. You no, know, it's a key thing that Benny said, and, and it's not, it's actually, it's true what you said, and I'll add to that as well, and there's some great points. This has been a video full of value. So we're doing this now. What we're actually doing now, this is how you build a brand. We're doing a video where you can see we're honest. We're not making this up. We're sharing from our hearts. We're sharing what we've learned, what's worked for our clients, what's worked over and over again. So... That unique skill I've got, any guy can get that skill, but he has to put the work in. And a lot of men are not willing to put the work in. And the ones who are willing to put the work in, standing right next to me now. Uh -huh. Benny was on the other side, like you guys watching my videos. Now he's someone who is making his own videos and now you're watching his videos and now I'm on his channel. So he's proof it's possible, he's did it. He's built a brand, he's building a brand. 
and I've helped loads of guys to do it and I'm learning from Benny as well. So another thing I want to mention is that you have to be open to learn from people. Like I didn't come into this industry or business going, I know everything. I, I like a sponge, I learned from people. I had some people I dismissed and I don't trust what you're saying, it's not true. You know, but ultimately, we can give you all this information and it's great and it will inspire you, but what are you going to do with it? Are you just going to go on to the next video? Are you going to get inspired for a week and then you know, back to watching pornography? <laughs> You've got to keep moving yeah. and building momentum. And, and I, I've really noticed the confidence that Benny's built. All, every time I see him, he's more confident. Most guys, I guess every time you meet them, they're less confident. They're less confident. It's not judging them. It's because they're not working themselves. So as a business, you're the business. You've got to work on you. You're the brand. If you don't like your, sorry, I was going to say, if you don't like your business, it's because you, your business is a reflection of you. So definitely. If, so definitely. if you want to make more money, you've got to literally change as you are as a person. Yeah. And um, sorry, I had a really good point. Yeah, Johnny made a great point earlier about book knowledge and how people read books about business. They'll just keep reading, but and they'll say stuff like, "Yeah, I know that," but you don't know it until you live it. Exactly. People say, oh, I know it because I read it in a book. But yeah, but that's not knowing it, is it? Knowing it and living it are two different things. Yeah. The same people who say, I know that, but are you living it? If you're not living it, you don't know it. So if you talk about approaching women, starting a business, yeah. are you overthinking? And I've been guilty of it. You're just like just reading and overthinking the small details. And some of this is not your fault. It's actually your, your parents, your yeah. society's conditioned you to overthink the small details. Oh, the tax man. Yeah. Oh, what about small forming a sole trade or LLC? Or uh, all yeah. these are minor details. Yeah. Once you just step, if you don't, if you never take the first step, yeah. If you don't approach the women, nothing is ever going to happen. Yeah. So if you say I know that, but you're not even taking action, you're not living it. You don't know it. So yeah. So good. What Benny said is such a distinction that I see a lot. Actually, to be honest, I don't really see this in my clients because my clients they take action, and as soon as they sign up and do a six weeks program or, or a weekend experience they've already committed to action and they just keep getting better and better. I see it with a lot of the guys that just comment on YouTube videos and become fans and followers, but they're not actually becoming creators themselves. So there's so many positive things of starting a business. It's going to benefit people, you, and I love the creative process, but Benny's right. Reading, you know, about businesses in a book and going, I know it, it's, you don't really know it intellectually. You know what someone else's truth is. You've got experience, so you know it. So me and Benny know what it's like to go out and meet women because we've done it for years. We know what it's like, you know, to have a relationship with a woman that you meet, sleep with her and have a great connection. And we know what it's like to help other guys to do that and better themselves. So you only can know it for experience. So the quicker you start, the better um, your business and brand is going to be. And uh, so, yeah, uh, that's it. Exactly. Yeah. So um, start living it and stop talking about it. Yeah. Uh, and the more you live it, the more experience you'll get and the better you will become. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Take action. Bye. Bye. I, uh, I just want to say to you guys, uh, check out Johnny's channel, subscribe, and... Um, Thank you. Yeah, Cheers. I hope you enjoyed it. Awesome, man. Great.